Today when I was cleaning out my wine fridge, I found this old half-opened bottle of wine. And when I poured it out, it left a, a purple-black residue, almost like paint. And today we're going to talk about what that might be. This wine was sitting in the wine fridge half opened for probably about six months and when I poured the wine out it just left this thick almost paint like residue that um, really just, it, I couldn't even really wash it out. I could probably try to use a bristle brush and try to brush it out but it's pretty astonishing how kind of thick this is and it's not your standard sediment that you might get on a, a bottle of wine. And it's not good actually. And I think um, I have a, an idea of what this might be. So red wine has a color pigment called anthocyanin, which is what gives it its red color. It's what gives like a red cabbage its color, even like a blueberry. Um, it's a really powerful, almost a dye. And generally it's soluble in the wine and for the most part, any of it that's there after the wine has aged for some period of time is going to stay there. I mean, a little bit's going to fall out early on that's, that hasn't bound with things like tannin. But for the most part, it's going to stay in solution and your wine's going to stay nice and purple. You can pour it out of a bottle and your bottle's going to be perfectly clean. You could have a little sediment, but it's not going to be the kind of sediment like this that completely stains your bottle. But because this wine was opened for so long with so much air contact, it, it oxidized really, really bad. So when ethanol oxidizes, it oxidizes into vinegar. But when you place um, vinegar in the presence of ethanol, this is kind of like this interesting chemistry thing that happens, but those two together can make something called ethyl acetate. So it's the ethanol and the acetic acid make ethyl acetate, which is a solvent. Um, it's a solvent that's using glues, it's used in paints, it's used in paint thinners, um, it's used to de decaffeinate coffee. And what I think is happening here is that while the, the anthocyanin that was in this wine um, had kind of found an equilibrium where it was soluble with the ethanol that was in it, well now we've kind of flip-flopped our solvents now and we've got um, really probably not a lot of ethanol at all. It's kind of changed the solution completely into this probably mostly, still mostly water with a little bit of ethyl acetate, maybe a little bit of acetic acid, maybe a little bit of ethanol, which will have broken down some more molecules that otherwise wouldn't have broken down, add that onto that the um, ethyl acetate is kind of a paint friendly, um, a paint friendly solvent and now you've got almost this paint that's coating the bottom of this bottle. And I've only seen this in really, really, really oxidized wines. I once tried to make red wine vinegar that went horribly wrong and the exact same thing happened. I've seen carboys, you buy a used carboy and it's half full of wine and you dump it out and the carboy is just completely purple. I've never seen an actually good wine that's not oxidized that has this actual um, almost like varnish effect on the bottle. So I'd like to see what you guys think. Maybe we could crowdsource the exact right answer to this if we have any chemists in the audience. And um, just post in the comments if you've seen this or um, if you have an idea of exactly what this interesting varnish thing that can happen on a wine bottle that has badly oxidized, what you think that actually is. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to click the little subscribe button and check out my website, smartwinemaking.com. Thanks for watching.